Welcome back. It's Lung Cancer Awareness Month, and here to talk to us about the new lung cancer screening program through Hilton Head Regional Healthcare is Micah Burford. But Micah, this is your first time here, so before we dive into that, tell us a little bit about yourself. Yes, so I am originally from Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. I've lived in the Hilton Head area for about two years. I, was, I came here after my husband's job with Marine Corps relocated us here, and I've been doing the CT lung screening program for about six months now. Okay, so is that, is that what you came here to do, what you uh, were hired in to do was the, the screening program, or is that something new to you? What was your role first when you, when you came here? Um, so I've done a little bit of everything. I was doing med surge nursing on the hospital floor, and then also working with Dr. Kellerman in cardiovascular thoracic surgery, um, and then they offered me the position for the um, lung screening, so I thought it would be a great opportunity. Well then, congratulations on this new endeavor. So let's talk a little bit about that program because it's new to our area and new to you guys. So tell us what's, what it, what's about. So basically the CT lung screening program is meant to detect the early um, diagnosis of lung cancer. And honestly, I recommend it to all people, especially if you've been a smoker, specifically for about 30 years. Okay, so obviously smokers are some of those that are most at risk. Is there anyone else that's at risk for developing lung cancer? I would say secondhand um, smoke. People that have been around secondhand smoke a lot of their life, I think that they are high at risk as well. So tell us a little bit about the screening itself. Um, obviously it's never too late to have that done, but you want to do it as early as possible, I'm assuming. And what, tell us a little bit about what the procedure is like. Yes, yeah, so the patient will go in for a CT lung screen. A radiologist will look at the results of that. So based on the results, determines if the patient needs to go for further testing. So the radiologist is pretty much looking for a lung nodule. Sometimes patients have smaller lung nodules that we may want to follow for six months to a year, but if it's something larger, we may want to send the patient for a CT guided lung biopsy or also a PET scan, which could further rule out lung cancer. Okay, and so what would the patient expect when they come in for the screening? Is it similar to an x-ray or more like an MRI? What's, what is, what's it like? Um, it's kind of like a combination of both. So for a CT screen, it's specifically around one part of the body. So it'll be around the chest. You're not like completely encapsulated, um, but yeah, it would be around the chest area, but their head is completely open. Okay, so no panicking for somebody who's claustrophobic? No, not at all. Excellent. So if somebody wants more information about how they can get this screening done, um, how do they find that? So they can either call me at 843-686-LUNG or they can go to hiltonheadregional.com slash lung screening and find more information there. And is this something that um, everybody should have done or is it really something that people that feel like they're the most at risk should have done? Honestly, it wouldn't hurt to have it done. Like I said, if they've been around secondhand smoke majority of their life, of course, if they've been um, a smoker, but also, you know, there is those risks for people that have worked in coal mines, for example. They could possibly be at risk as well. So um, that would be another person of interest that I would say that needs to have it done. So if somebody does make that phone call and gives you a call about in asking for information about the screening, what is the process over the phone with you? So usually if a patient gives me a call, we'll first talk about if um, they meet criteria. So there's a couple different things. So a, our cash pay price, if insurance does not cover it, is $175. But if a patient has Medicare, they have a 30-pack smoking year history, they fall between the ages of 55 and 77, um, they are eligible for it to be covered for free. Um, but we'll also talk about, you know, if the patient you know, should get this screening or if they should hold off, things like that. Well, excellent. Thank you so much for all this fabulous information and thanks for being with us today, Micah. Thank you for having me. More great local information is coming up next with Laura Palmer.